Good evening and welcome to 7 o'clock Spurs, formerly 6 o'clock Spurs, to so get used to it because we're going to be coming to you at 7 o'clock from every evening from now on. First up, former Spurs midfielder Danny Murphy has said that Eric Dyer and Deli Ali are nowhere near the level that they need to be to be England internationals. Now, um, obviously they were used in the most recent friendlies, uh, most recent friendly against Spain. Um, don't think they played particularly badly, um, but it is clear that they are young. We know that they're young. They have been playing amazing football for Spurs this season, though. So, you know, for Danny uh, Murphy to come out and say something like that, it's not surprising. They are young. We understand that they are. But with the lack of midfielders that we've got at the moment, it's not surprising that they got a, some sort of call up anyway. It was about time that Eric Dyer did get a call up, arguably. Um, what he did actually say was that they are talented lads, which is something that we do know. Um, he said that they could go on to be internationals, but they're nowhere near ready. Um, if you think a lot about full strength Spain and Germany teams, they've got no chance. Now, that's pretty um, a st pretty standard thing for someone like Danny Murphy to say. Um, they are nowhere near the levels of a full strength Germany or Spain midfield. However, if you look at the way that they play, you can tell that they're going to be great players in years to come. If they keep going on the way that they do, having the attitude that they have, then who knows that they could, they could be a next England captain in either one of those two. Next up, good news, Ryan Mason has also been given a call up um, to the England squad uh, and he'll be joining Spurs teammates Carl Walker, Deli Alley, Eric Dyer and also Harry Kane um, in, the, in the senior squad. Um, now it has come as a bit of a, a bit of a surprise to to most football fans. There is a bit of a Twitter outrage at the moment from Roy Hodgson's selection uh, because no, he hasn't started since mid September when he got injured. He did start against Anderlecht though, had a relatively good game as well. Um, but yeah, as I say, it's come as a surprise to a lot of football fans because they're thinking that maybe James Ward Prowse, Wilfred Zaha, Jason Punchin. And most notably, Danny Drinkwater as well has been getting a lot of mentions, um, as well as the likes of Mark Noble, who a lot of people think maybe deserve more of a chance than Ryan Mason. Now, obviously, as a Spurs fan, I'm going to say that Ryan Mason um, should be given his chance in the, in the England lineup. Uh, but, you know, who knows? What do you think about the call up for Ryan Mason? Is it something that you'd have done if you were Roy Hodgson? Um, let us know in the comments section below. Finally, some great news for all you Spurs fans out there. Nabil Bentaleb is back, according to the London Evening Standard. Now, he hasn't featured for the squad uh, back, since back in August when he uh, injured his ankle ligaments, but he did feature in Algeria's two-all draw at the weekend and played a full 45 minutes. And apparently, I've not seen any footage of it, but apparently he played really well. So it's good to have him back. Uh, if he can get some minutes against West Ham, I'm all for that. But the question is, where would he fit into the squad? You know, we've got Delhi uh, Ali and Eric Dyer both nailing it in the middle. Um, we've got Ryan Mason, who's just got his call up to England as well. So it shows that he is um, in, in people's thoughts at the moment. Where would you play Nabil? If, uh, would you start him? Where would you play him? Let us know in the comments section below. So that's it for today's 7 o'clock Spurs. Make sure to join us tomorrow for another edition of 7 o'clock Spurs. So be back at 7. Remember, 7 o'clock, not 6. So if you like the video, make sure to uh, give it a like, um, comment, or follow us at Spurred on TV. Go you Spurs. How's it going everyone? It is me, Craig Mitch, and welcome to another Top 5. And this week we are doing Top 5 Most Loved Spurs Keepers. Save me, save me.